if Ronaldo would humble himself and happily be um, a bit part player and a squad player and wasn't throwing his arms up and sulking and all that, and he understood that he was a role player at the club and he was helping develop the younger players and he was a positive influence around the club, I wouldn't have a problem with him. That madness, bro. <laughs> yeah, event, more eventful game than we expected. <laughs> I'd say that much. <laughs> more eventful than we expected, bro. Like, bro, we know he's going to get the headlines, fam. <laughs> hey, Ronaldo, I'm hearing that he is getting like sauteed online, bro. Like, oh, of course, obviously, man's not, man's not on there like that. Um, but, bro, like, I won the war, flawless, bro. I won it. <laughs> you know what? You did. You did win the war. You did win the war. As everyone's quiet on it to the point where now it's like I've I've been critical of him in the past, but now I know you don't care because I know what you're like. Mm. For me, it's sad to see. I don't want to see mm. man go out like this, man. Like I said this in the game against Saucy Dad, even the Sheriff mm. game, this game. This is sad to see, man. This is like your favorite fighter fighting on over the hill and getting beat. This is this is Mike Tyson getting beat by Danny Williams. That's it where it's at with this stage. And it's sad to see, man. Like he's getting in the correct positions and his touch is loose and you can't get his shot off and stuff like that. And yeah, man, he's done. We knew this stuff. Bruv, you know what I'm we bruv, knew this. Bruv, like, man, them were trying so hard, bro. So hard to get him a goal, bruv. And you can see that deep down, yeah, it's like no one wants to piss him off, blood. Look at, bruv, man sent this meme in. Look at that, bro. Oh. Man said, man, United players trying to get Ronaldo to score, you know. <laughs> man are taking a piss, blood. Let me see this, bruv. I remember this as well. I swear that's Kai as well, isn't it? What's this thing, bruv? Why is this buffering like that? What is yeah, this I think nonsense? it's the last time he won the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's... yeah, look at that. Man's taking a piss, bro. It's sad to see, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, nah, it's, it's a mad thing, bro. It is. Yeah, man, he's just not... He just. Well, again, I'm not surprised <laughs> by it. <him. laughs> this is bro, like, he's this not is interested. My youth, blood, I'm telling you. He's not a... Fo- yeah, he ain't a footballer, blood. Like, he said, fuck that, bruv. Man's going to yeah, be a photographer like Beckham's youth. You know them. Look, he's like, come on, Rui, boy. Hey, it's a matching. They're taking the piss. Look at that. Man just left the ball in <laughs> Yeah, that can never be my son. I'm sorry, blood. Hey, my nephew's only, what, fucking, what, nine months and I've already got, man, kicking the already, ball, you, already got, you already got project on the way, yeah? Brav, yeah, so, brav, yeah. listen. It's my man. Man, nine months, brav. <laughs> brav, man started walking, yeah? Like, yeah. Three weeks ago, man's already kicking ball, blood. It's man, man. That, as soon man. as you can stand up, you're ready. Yeah, of course. Get the football into the test the touch. You know what I'm saying? Fire Bruv, the ball. Listen, <laughs> as soon as you can stand up, you're ready, blood. You know, like that. This is exactly what it is. Like and Ronaldo's thing's mad. Ronaldo's thing's mad, bro, because it's like, bro, he's so bad, isn't it? He's yes. so bad, bro. But, and it's not even about the age, bro, because. Man saying, oh, yeah, look at the great shape he's in and all these, bruv. Mm. He's a poor footballer, bro. Like, it's got nothing to do, yeah, with age, bruv. Age does not stop you hitting the target. No, it don't. It, it, age it, doesn't yeah. stop you from controlling the football. Like, it doesn't. It don't stop you. That He's just he's just declined at a rapid rate. That's what mm. that is in terms of in terms. I don't of think he has declined at a rapid rate. I just think, think that. don't think so. I think from a no. physical standpoint, he has. I don't oh, think so. I don't think so. You know what's happened with Ronaldo? He's been playing at teams that have masked his deficiencies for so long and Manchester United finally cannot do that. We just can't do that no more. I just think from like, from his, from his standpoint, I'm like, he don't, even from, because his tools was physically. Mm. Like when we're talking Mm -hmm. him and his prime, let's go back to his prime years, Real Madrid. Physically, yes, was he a fantastic finisher? Yes, because of the amount of goals he scored. But it's from a physical standpoint how good he was. Like BBC, You know what I'm saying? Them free there, fire. But he can't do that anymore. There was a time it was the Southampton game, I think it was. And he had a head start and someone caught him. I think it was the German. Yeah. Like, the Bella, yeah. the Bella Kotchum guy, who actually looks like yeah. I butchered yeah, his, name. his name. Is, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't want to just disrespect him and call him ketchup like everybody else. But my point is he had a mm-hmm. head start and Ronaldo got burnt. Old school Ronaldo onto that in a flash, boom, scores that goal. And we're having we're, yep. t- we're having a whole different conversation. His touch is being loose and that. That's because he can't, his body's not getting in in how do I put this? It's hard for me to talk about. His body's not getting in shape and in position fast enough like it used to. So his touch isn't like so he can't get there. This has happened three, four times now. It happened in today's game 
where the touch isn't right there. And I don't think it's a poor touch. I think he's not getting there fast enough. Because normally Cristiano Ronaldo was crisp in the box. Touch, bang, shot, know, goal. Bro. I'll be honest, yeah. Like, like, you see this Ronaldo, you see this yeah. Ronaldo thing, yeah? It's like, his finishing has always, always, always been massively overhyped. Like, these guys, yeah, I always talk about Ronaldo saying, all right, cool, he's one of the best finishers ever, which mm -hmm. he's not. Do you know what I mean? He's one of the best goal scorers on paper. But in terms of finishing a variety of finishes, bro, like Ronaldo's always, always, always been a volume, volume player, bro. Like Ronaldo ain't got no finesse. We saw it today, bro. He cut inside, yeah? Instead of just passing the ball into the bottom bottom corner, my man's lacing it wide and that. Mm, Ronaldo smashes the life out of every single shot that he takes, bro. You never see Ronaldo get his head up and just roll it in. Like you That's, never see yeah. that. That's, he yeah, just that's smashes not everything, that, bro. That's he not smashes his, that's everything. Not that's style. not being a good. That's not being a good finisher. Good finishers don't smash everything. Like even when man talk about Son, yeah, bro. Look at Son, bro. Like sometimes he might lace it. Sometimes he might cut in and then whip it. It's like we're doing different things. Ronaldo just smashes everything, bro. And somehow so you, he's bro. a great finisher. So bro, you're talking he about just the takes loads of shots. You're talking about the variety in the finish that you don't have the Absolutely. variety. It's he's got no so variety. He just, he just takes his... loads of shots. He takes loads of shots, bro. Wait, it works. That's it. You know what? That's what comes. You know what? That's what comes with it for him because that's what's worked and carried him so long. I do hear that because I can't remember yeah. too many times where he's like dink the goalkeeper and stuff like that. He don't really have finesse. Hasn't been in his that. game, but yeah, man, it's just like like I say, man. This is like for me, like Mayweather coming back now and trying to fight like the top guys and that, man. It's not. Mm. It's, bruv, it's he's bruv, he's, he's not a great finisher. Man saying six hundred ninety nine goals, poor finisher. Bruv, he's not a good finisher, bro. Neither is Mo Salah. But Mo Salah scores loads of goals. You've got Mo Salah's not a good is, finisher. You're talking about the volume, so they get into position a lot to score. Bro, goals. I'm That's talking, bro. Saying. Being a good finisher, yeah, is having variety in your finishing, bro. It's being able to have finesse to do certain things. Mm. The best finishers in the game have variety in their finishes, bro. Like man, man, what man grew up watching some real bad boy centre forward, you know. Man that can dink goalkeepers, go around goalkeepers, do all these other things, bro. Ronaldo smashing the living daylights out of everything. He just clarts everything. So you're talking about... And we saw it today. Now yeah, you explain bro, it, like, it makes more sense because you're talking bro, knowing when to Knowing when to pass the ball into the goal, yeah. when to go around the goalie, when, when to, to dink the goalkeeper. Do you know what I mean? When to put your foot through it. Mm. That's what makes you a good finisher. You're talking about... That's what makes you a good finisher. Not, oh, every time I get in the box, I'm just going to hit the ball so as hard as I can, bruv. Like, and then, like, do you know what I mean? If you're five yards out and you smash the ball, you're probably going to score. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, I, bruv, the keeper can't react to that. But Ronaldo can. today I, showed he ain't got no first touch and he's a poor finisher. That's what he showed you today. Yeah. And I think you're talking, when you say a variety of finishes, mad that you... Because there's someone who was great at that was Brazilian Ronaldo. We've seen him do all yeah. sorts in terms of left foot, right foot. Smash it, go around the goalkeeper, no one to side for it, etc. etc. Mm. But yeah, 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 you see, but but he made a habit of just like smashing because, like I said, people I can't remember him at Madrid too tough, but like I said, the amount of goals he gets and mm. shows how good he is at getting into position because Ronaldo still gets into position to score goals, he just can't execute it. We're seeing mm. that in today's game. How many he, how many goals should he have scored today? Should have had at least a brace, minimum, Bobby, he should have had at least a hat trick, bro. Uh, a minimum, a minimum, at worst, a brace. So he and goes the, to the show thing that is, mentally, yeah. man still got it. Like the movement's still there to get yeah. into position. Yeah, but I wouldn't even say the movement's execute. there, bro. It's because Man United, yeah, you know what it is. Oh. We've scored oh. three goals today, mm -hmm. and you know what it is, yeah. We've looked at this game. Um, we've looked at this game today, and a lot of people have said, "Oh, Man United haven't played well," which is false. Because if Man United had a proper finisher up front, we would have scored about six, seven goals today. No problem. I think yeah. we were sloppy defensively, but we created enough chances, bro, to score at least seven, eight goals. The reason why we didn't do that is because Ronaldo can't finish, bro. He was do you know what I'm like, saying? Like, Martial Today. came on straight away, yeah? And with his first banging shot, he scored. It was a banging goal. And as you should, you're playing Omonia. And even 20... Rashford, I think Rashford scored with his second shot. Because we had 27 blue shots. One over. Yeah, we had blue we had... one over. The second shot, he Where? scored it. Where? We had 27 shots. I had eight on target, so we did enough going forward. Defensively, we just got caught for two mistakes. That's yeah, what happened. Exactly. But you know if we saying? started with Rashford and Martial, we would have put seven, eight. Oh yeah, 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 guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just because him, we are relying on fucking Ronaldo, <laughs> bro. Like man's miscontrolling the ball, and man are talking about age. What's age got to do with your first touch, bro? But Nothing to do with it. It's it's not. 
in terms of the first touch. But what I'm talking about is what I mentioned earlier in terms of when you're in front of goal and there's times where if your position, if your body's positioned better and you're mm. quicker, you're there on top, boom, touch, goal. Mm. I've seen it too many times. Now, it happened today. Happened today a couple mm. of times where his touch was slightly loose, but that's because you're not in position quick. Because normally he's quick and he's quick enough to get to the ball there. Touch goal. And that's what Ronaldo mm. was very, very, very good at in his prime. But this ain't prime him. He's 38. This ain't prime mm. Ronaldo. And this is why I didn't want him in the 37. This is why I didn't want him in the first place, because I didn't want yeah. to see this. I didn't want to see that's him. That's it. And he had state. eight shots, bro. He had eight, eight shots. shots, and I think only one no. on target. Because one he of hit the, the ones... post, he missed the open goal, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hit the post. That was a bad one. That was a bad one. And then there's one that Ericsson caught back. And he really should have left. I think it was Rashford who was behind him. And he put it over yeah. the bar with his left foot. Yeah. He should have left. He was it off to balance. He should have never yeah. struck that. He should have left it to Rashford. But he's itching. And then he had the one, another one that he put wide. Um, but is what is that's it. But man will tell you he scored 18 last season. The reason why then, I'm not the man will tell you he scored half them goals in three games. Yeah, yeah, the reason why I'm not worried about it because the pennies dropped for Ten Hag, he knows. So this yeah, is not yeah, a problem going knows. forward. I said this after, I, I think I tweeted it after the Sociedad game. And I said, I was like, mm. I'm not being critical. I'm not criticising Ronaldo here. He's just mm. done. Like I said, for the first, I know you've been saying it for the longest, but the first time me watching him closely, I'm like, right, you can't even do it at this level. Because I was saying at the start of the season, I think you can make an impact in the Europa League. Now I doubt mm. that. I don't yeah, want to see him start in Europa League these games. teams. This is Bro, my point. When you can't make an impact against these teams, yeah, right. as a centre forward, you're finished in the game. Yeah. yeah. You're finished and in the game because you can't yes. have eight shots here. And do not, and even the assist for Rashford was a shot, bro. Yeah, it was a shot. It was definitely it was a shot. Yeah, man in the chat <laughs> saying, Oh, he saw Rashford, bro. He you watch the replay. Rashford, my man's bro. head is down, bro. He when he strikes see. that ball, when you're trying to pass someone the ball, yeah, you make co eye contact with people, bro. <laughs> like Ronaldo's not doing no look passes to Rashford. He gets the ball out of his feet, and Ronaldo's head is down and mm. his knees over the ball, and he shoots that and he shanks mm. it across the goal. Uh, like he he wasn't a was it called in it like I said he was that's therefore a shot one hundred and ten percent but I like I said even I overestimated his ability because my expectation of him Premier League was non-existent mm. but I said Europa League he can make a difference Sociedad Armonia mm. Sheriff I'm saying he can help us win this now I look at him and I go right, right after the Sociedad game and I know I'm taking it back I said mm. nah he's not got it. And it's sad to see, you know what I'm saying, that he's declined so far that you can't even make an impact Europa League. But bro, Europa remember League. I said, remember I said, yeah, right, he, bruv, he would struggle in the MLS. A man were getting yeah. on to me. You're yeah, seeing man, it today. Yeah, yeah, You're seeing it today. He struggled against Ammonia, bro, and you think this player can play in the MLS. Are you I'm, all right? And what's crazy is everybody else, like, thrived. Like, Martial came on and thrived. Rashford came on and thrived. Anthony looked good, actually. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Not Anthony that Anthony's been bad. Good. Like... I know how Anthony had ISO moves, but it's just a pleasant surprise to see a right winger with some mm. ISO moves and not just be a robot. 110%. Ericsson does Ericsson things. Bruno's gone Bruno. Casemiro got minutes in his legs. Mm. Martinez looked good. I was saying, Malassia had a hey, shaky bro, game. As soon as Bruno I... came off, huh? like, I'm tired. literally, we looked like a better team straight away. Martial was playing huh? like as a second striker and dropping into that hole to pick up the ball and that. And bro, like, it's mad, yeah. Because it's nice, yeah. When when Martial does have someone else up front, yeah, he can drop deep, yeah, and he can arrive late in it. And he oh. he he was a problem, bro. Do you know what I mean? He was an absolute problem when when he was playing. Um, he was playing in that second striker role, blood, and he looked really good there. And then he got moved out to the right, and he kind of evaporated out of the game. But the damage was already done. But Bruno not being in that space, you saw the difference because Bruno plays like a striker when he plays in in that role anyway. But the difference is, yeah. He doesn't have the quality. Like, look at Martial, bro. He picks up the ball in the same areas as Bruno, but he's affecting the game. Because that's his game. That's why. We know Martial in tight spaces, whether it's in a nine, whether it's in a ten. Essentially, if he's picking up the ball, whether mm. it's on the back line, whether it's in between the midfielders and the defenders, we know how, we know how good he is. Mm. Bruno's at his best when we're transitioning. That's Bruno at his best. Even the pass that he played for... Did he play it to Rashford? For, yeah, he played it to Rashford. And then Rashford, for, was it for Rashford's goal? He played the ball over the top. Yeah, it was Bruno who played that. I swear it was. I don't know. Someone said it was Casemiro that played it. That was it. I swear. We was having this debate on the watch along. I swear it was Bruno who played it. Yo, correct me but, if I'm wrong, people. I need to see. I don't know, Bruno. but Rashford miscontrolled but, it anyway. Yeah, but he miscontrolled <laughs> it. But my point is, that's mm. Bruno's best space and space to hit. 
We've mm. seen it against Arsenal. Like, when teams are sitting back, low block, Bruno, that's not his game. Give him space mm. to hit and to play balls into, whether it's short, whether it's long. Fine. That's why I don't even get mad at Bruno. You know what I'm saying? Because I know his level. But I know he can impact these type of games. We've seen it before. And I think he mm. did today. So, like, it is what it is. Bro, man is saying, um, huh? why are we criticising a 13-year-old player playing at the very top level? You know why we're criticising him? Because he's not good enough, bro. And he thinks he's good enough. If Ronaldo would humble himself and happily be... Um, a bit part player and a squad player and wasn't throwing his arms up and sulking and all that. And he understood that he was a role player at the club and he was helping develop the younger players and he was a positive influence around the club. I wouldn't have a problem with him. 